Yeah, I know, right? Because even hearing that word stops people's hearts. They think, oh, no, not an audit. Well, yeah. we have been told that if you earn less than $200,000 a year, less than $200,000 a year, your likelihood of being audited is about 1 in 100. Those odds, though, go up for certain types of taxpayers if you fall into certain groups. So our Partners in Consumer Reports has some important advice tonight on kind of how to stay under the IRS tax radar. I think we're being audited. This reenactment in an IRS video shows the letter no one wants to get. We are examining your tax return. Ellen Rosen is an accountant. The first thing that goes through their mind is absolute panic, that they're being audited. What did they do wrong? They can't believe it. There goes everything they've worked for, saved for all these years. Consumer Reports money advisor's Toby Stanger says some taxpayers are more likely to be audited than others. Taxpayers who have their own business and itemized deductions for home office, telephone, business meals, they need to be extra careful. Business expenses that could be personal, like meals or travel, are one of the things the IRS goes after. Keep a careful calendar of your business meetings and hold on to the actual receipts and not just your credit card bills. And if you claim a deduction for a home office, be sure it looks like an office. Also, it's best if it doesn't double as a laundry or playroom. Another red flag that can attract attention of the IRS are uh, excessive charitable donations. If you're donating 50% of your income, that can seem out of place. Again, make sure to get dated receipts. They are required for cash contributions over $250 and for gifts of goods like clothing or furniture. You should keep your tax records for as long as the IRS can audit you, which is three years. But just to play it safe, we recommend holding them for seven. And last but not least, check the math. Believe it or not, simple mathematical errors trigger the most notices from the IRS. <laughs> yeah, so be careful. Now, if you prepare your own taxes, two of the leading programs, H&R Block at Home and TurboTax, they do offer some additional audit help in the event of an audit. You may have to buy audit insurance yeah. for that, so check into that as well. Now, we're, we are here answering your questions tonight, CPAs are, because it's understandable that you may have questions. Look at this. You see this thick yeah book here with tiny, tiny print. This is the 2012 U.S. Master Tax Guide. There's a whole lot of rules and regulations when it comes to taxes and may be confusing to you, so Seven is taking action for you tonight with these CPAs here answering your questions. You can go to WXYZ.com for the next 10, 15 minutes or so and take part in our web chat. Also, 248-827-3362, and you can talk live to a CPA from the Michigan Association of Certified Public Accountants. Doing what we can tonight to make tax season a little bit easier for you. Reporting from the Call for Action Center, I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. Back to you guys in the studio.